I'm meteorologist Peter Hall. Here's your NBC3 forecast. And as we look ahead today, finally getting rid of the tough temperatures and wind chills we've been having recently, it looks like our weather today is an improvement. Now, granted, we were near record cold temperatures this morning, very cold, but this afternoon, we're more respectable. That's probably the best way of putting it. We should have a good chunk of sun today and then finish the day with clouds. Look for a high of 41, so anywhere between 38 and 43, which is just a little bit below normal and about 20 degrees better than it was yesterday. This evening and tonight, there's a possibility of a little wintry mixed shower at some point during the night, but the most consistent precipitation, the steadiest, will likely be rain and likely be after midnight going through tomorrow morning. So it's our last bitter beginning. Wind chills, which have been over 24 hours in the single digits, unusual for the late part of March here, will finally relax through the day. In fact, the wind chill by this afternoon around 34, 35, that's 30 degrees better than it was at any point yesterday. Well, we've talked about some wet weather developing later tonight. We'll have some on and off showers tomorrow. And because I don't think it's consistent and because in between showers there's even a possibility of peaks of sun, I think there's a very good likelihood that Friday gets into the 50s for only the second time this month. Last time was March 11th when it was only 50. It looks very likely we'll have the warmest day since January. I know, I know. Well, we still have some changeable conditions. As we look ahead of the weekend, I think we'll back off temperatures a little bit into the 40s. And there's still this sneaky southern system for Saturday night to Sunday morning, which we still are not exactly sure whether or not it'll hit us. Here's what's happening. Sunshine giving way to some late day thicker clouds as winter's grip loosens this afternoon. We make or even break 40 to 40 today. This evening and tonight, you're going to notice a little blop of blue, blip of blue here, and it consistently happens over Old Forge longer. So Old Forge might wind up picking up two, three inches of snow before it changes to rain elsewhere. Any wintry mixed shower is very limited. And we go over to rain showers later at night and during tomorrow morning. So the most consistent rainfall, I think, is roughly going to be from about 2 a.m. to 9 a.m. on Friday. After this initial surge pushes away, the future cast is trying to keep green going all day long. I think this is overdone. I think what it's trying to show you is at any other point midday and afternoon, we can't rule out a shower, but there should be breaks. And like I've mentioned before, the only other 50 this month was March 11th, and we should make it number two for the month today or tomorrow. Tomorrow night, a subtle cold front comes through with some sprinkles and flurries. I think we'll have some extra clouds for a while, maybe some limited sun, and then we've got to watch that new southern system for Saturday night and Sunday. Total sun at least 50% today, 10% Friday, 25% on Saturday. The precipitation probability goes down to 10% today. It's up to 90% late tonight and tomorrow. And then the threat that we get anything from that Saturday night system into Sunday morning is a little less than 50% now. Computer models are all over the place with this. Some bring it right into us, others completely miss us. I'll show you why in a second. Seven day forecast. The normal high through this period is upper 40s to near 50. That shows you how ridiculously below normal yesterday was. Today, a few degrees below normal. Tomorrow, a little above normal. Saturday and Sunday, below normal. Monday, above normal. Monday's the last day of March. We'll take it as the warm, warmest day of the week. And there'll be a chance of showers on Tuesday. Local temperatures for highs, northeastern temperatures, nationwide numbers. The reason why that system is still unknown is because it's still in the Pacific right there. I'm meteorologist Peter Hall. Have a great day.